Yeah, hi. In this scenario, I would like to show you on how to create a purchase order, which is uh, including the asset under construction plus uh, some cost, which directly will be charged to the cost centers. So now we'll give the account assignment, which is relating to the asset and the account assignment, which is relating to the cost center. So one is the asset another one is a cost so I have a 10 quantity and 10 quantity so each so the delivery date is 0104 2020 104 2020 so the net price for this is 500 but the cost is 50 on that so plant I enter the plant information and also the account group so now the system is asking for the asset. So where I enter the asset for the first line. Yeah. So click OK. So the second line, the system automatically jump into the second line. So here, it's it, this is a requesting for the cost center. So I enter the cost center. Click OK, keep press entering. So now what happened here, when you go to the account assignment, so you just need to enter different account. So I choose the different account due to some issue with the other account. So click on check. So no messages, then click save. So we created the purchase order. Again, another purchase order. So you can see the purchase order information here. So this time we use purchase order for asset under construction. So it says document does not exist because we, this blank here. So now go to other purchase order, 728 is ours. So click preview. So now you can see the purchase order. So ours is 500. 10 quantity 5000 and 10 quantity 50 charges is actually the cost is total is 5500 so the 5 5000 is going to asset under construction but the 500 is going to the cost center directly from this PO so now go back to the main screen so now you see the asset under construction W01N. So nothing updated. Why? So because we need to do the MIGO. So it is a goods receipt for the PO. So I just need to filter by my company code 2800. So the last one, what we created for the asset is the last one here. So click enter. So 0104 2020 and 0104 2020. So click on check. Item check OK. Check. So it says there's some issue here. The posting period is not open. So I just need to go to the material posting period. This is MM so I just want to open the posting period which is 4 because I already closed 2020 just click on execute enter so now it's opened the log issued by the system so now again check so all turn to green so again post So after you post, the system will automatically update the asset under construction here. So if we go to the, again, slash and AW01N, so the system will show 4001 is our asset under construction, which is updated with the 
5000 so there is no depreciation for this asset under construction so let's say we accumulate some values here so now let's say I will run the depreciation so so this is how you can post acquisition to the system so now I will run the depreciation AFAB again for the month of April so click on execute so the system is showing so many documents all green no errors so I just remove the test run and then execute background so you can see the data the system is going to post the depreciation so now we are already finished the month end so we already posted the depreciation now we are going to see the asset uh, um, report so which is uh, going to show AR02 which is uh, then you enter even you enter the December let's say scroll down and depreciation only posted if you select this in this report which is AR02 then the system is going to show only the what the depreciation is posted so here you can see this is the report so this is not the ALV report so if you want to see the ALV report you just need to select the ALV here so this report is a set history sheet which is really useful so you can see here so I just uh, minimize optimize the width and then uh, you can see so this is quite useful report which will help to show you the data here current acquisition value accumulated depreciation everything the system will show here and uh, yeah so now I'm going to show you on how to distribute the asset and reconstruction value to the existing assets in the next session thank you guys